Hello, and welcome to Studio 415. On today's show, you will hear why CHS is asking teachers to cover up the windows beside the classroom doors. And you'll see what expectations the girls' tennis team has for the upcoming season. All of that and more, coming up next. Welcome to Studio 415. I'm Tyler Delagrange. And I'm Gabby Adamson. After the Alice drill and the stricter exterior door policy this year, it is clear that the school is taking further steps to prioritize student safety. Students may have already noticed the newest change in safety policy around the school. Here's Studio 415 reporter Grant Badgley with what is happening. In an attempt to create a safer environment inside the doors of Carroll, the administration has identified one more thing that can be done, blocking the view into classrooms. I wanted to find out how this increases safety, and this is what I discovered. During a staff meeting on February 15th, Principal Brandon Bidding explained a new policy that large classroom windows in the hallways should be covered up using a hard corners mentality. The idea is that the hard corners of doors and walls create blind spots, or sections of the classroom that cannot be seen from the hallway. Walking down into the hallways, you can already see the effects of this initiative. While there is no set deadline to cover their windows, teachers were encouraged to have it done before spring break. On the surface, simply covering the windows with paper sounds like a fairly simple solution for school safety. However, administration gave creative freedom to the teachers. This has resulted in a variety of different windows covers that can make classrooms unique even before you enter. In addition to reducing classroom visibility, administration is seeking more permanent solutions that will also strengthen the windows. In the event of a school intrusion, laminate or comparable window reinforcements would make windows more resistant to impact and therefore increase school safety. But for the time being, get used to seeing the paper cover solution around the school. Despite these actions taken in response to the recent school shootings, physics teacher David Knorr doesn't want these precautions to frighten students, yet rather to make them feel more safe. Regardless of how they look or what they are made of, these window coverings are administration's next step towards securing student safety in the building. For Studio 415, I'm Grant Badgley. All around the world, plastic waste piles up in landfills along the countryside. American consumerism has led to more packaging that is pitched in the trash. In my story, we take a look at how this affects us here at Carroll and what we can do to help. Carroll High School has always promoted recycling through many methods, such as through the Student Council's recycling program and by allowing teachers to bring recycling bins into their classrooms. Combined with the use of laptops reducing paper waste in the school, Carroll has never been greener. Yet this brings up the question, why is our society so wasteful to begin with? Environmental teacher Jim Walker explains that he believes our wealth as a nation has promoted a heavy consumer culture. I think if people instead valued experiences and relationships and you know just getting involved more rather than happiness tied to consumption it would significantly reduce our ecological footprints. Much of the school's promotion of recycling can be attributed to student council who runs the school's program. While I believe all it can realistically do is being done currently, they do have a few tips on how you can help make a difference. Student council member Connor Franklin explains how we can all help the planet together. Definitely less use of electricity, whether it be, uh, I don't know, lights or mostly phones, I think. Phones are a really big one, especially amongst the student populace. There's I'll go tie into the whole social media issue of uh, people are on their phones too much and that wastes a lot of our resources. Stone Council believes that we have a very successful recycling program here at CHS. They collect recycling from classes all around the school every third week. From Studio 415, I'm Tyler Delagrange. Carroll's tennis team has a strong track record of success in the last few years. 
Studio 415 reporter Jackson Miller talked with the team to see their plans for this year. Carroll's tennis team has a lot of expectations to live up to this year, coming off of a 24-1 record for the varsity team and a 19-0 record for the reserve team. When asked about how confident the team is coming into this season, Coach Kyle Stoffel feels the team has a high level of returning talent. We're pretty confident because last season uh, we had Sydney Jackson at one singles and she's the only one who's graduated. So we've got the same doubles back as what we had last year. Along with junior Caitlin Van Weingarten on singles and senior Bailey Newman moving up to two, the team feels just as confident and prepared for the coming year as Coach Kyle Stoffel. When talking to Caitlin and senior Mia Tascos, their big goals, excitement for the sport, and this season are very apparent. I would really be awesome if the team could make it to state. Um, really, did the state quarterfinals would be really amazing. Um, but there obviously is great competition in Indy, so you never know. I do want to go to state because last year we went to semi-state and we lost actually to like the best team in the state. I don't know why they were in our semi-state, but they were. But that was unfortunate, so I hope we can get a better draw this year and go to state. With these goals of a state win and excitement of the last year's seniors, the team is committed, ready to work hard, and prepared for a well-deserved great season. You can come out and watch them play tomorrow night at the Carroll Tennis Courts versus Snyder at 5.15 p.m. For Studio 415, I'm Jackson Miller. That's all we have today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other video content on YouTube. Just search for Carroll High School TV Department. For all of us here at Studio 415, have a great week, Carol. Sunny days and friendly smiles Block the halls with me Studio 415 Watch the news unfold Never hate all moment Students to create our future Come and join the fun Studio 415